We just finished a very hot summer here in Bangalore, India. And one of the favorite foods that I love to enjoy is an ice cold ice cream that I'd love to open up and enjoy with my kids. And ice cream is not just a dessert. It's like an emotional uh, feeling that you get, you know, some brings back childhood memories. But have you wondered what goes into the quality control of manufacturing a cone ice cream? And while I open this up and enjoy this uh, nice dessert, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of something that we've truly built uh, from a technology perspective. So this is the setup that we've built here at Qualitas Technologies for one of our clients. Now, this is going to be sitting on top of the manufacturing line, which is going to have six lines filling out these yummy ice creams. So the process starts with first the packaging, which is the paper sleeve being inserted into one of these uh, molds. And the next operation is to, to have the cone, which is the wafer cone. And after that, there's going to be a, a chocolate layer that's going to be placed inside the wafer cone. And the final operation is, of course, the ice cream itself before it is packed and sealed and shipped to all the yummy consumers that are going to enjoy this delicacy. Now, the inspection task is to, of course, verify that all those operations are present and there's no defects on it. Let's take a closer look. Each of these systems has a camera and a light flashing on it. And the LEDs here is identifying which ones are rejected and which one is not. Now, one of the things that we do before we ship it, ship it out to a customer is do a load test. We simulate the actual manufacturing line with a, a heavy duty cycle. So this system has been running for almost 24 hours now. The idea is the image is being captured and then it's gonna check for these three parameters. The presence of the sleeve, the presence of the cone, broken or cracked uh, cone, in any of the cone surfaces, as well as the presence of the chocolate. So inside what you have cone. inside this panel are six cameras, of course, for six different cones that are moving on the assembly line. And the strobing that you see here is when the uh, inspection cycle is ready to start. So the trigger triggers these cameras, which instruct the cameras to take an image and then, and, and then do the inspection. So right now, as I said earlier, we are simulating this environment. We're gonna be running this for uh, at least 24 hours to make sure that you know, no bugs and, and, and no issues are found. Um, so what really happens is after the trigger, the images, the six images are then transferred to a PC, which is gonna do uh, run an algorithm uh, to identify all the different defects. Okay, so as I said, this control panel here, again, a solidly built stainless steel for food grade standards is holding all the control system elements. Let's take a look, shall we? What you have here is a complete control system with a PLC, um, as well as you know the, the, uh, a power supply and all the terminals. And, and this is the main computer, the PC. So it is a, a standard uh, business PC running a very high-end GPU for uh, inspecting a lot of the uh, even tiny cracks on, on the surface. Which, this is of course IP65 rated, which means it can be, uh, it's, it's waterproof, so it's water resistance. And you can uh, use a hose to actually hose this down. So here you can see uh, a waterproof test that's being running to hose down the, the system. And we can see that there has been um, no water that's entering uh, the control panel or any of the electronics that is housing, uh, that is being housed within this uh, stainless steel structure. So let's do a real time test, shall we? Um, as you can see here, uh, the three LEDs indicating are, this is simulating three defective cones, and then these are the accepted ones. So, um, so I'm gonna take the accepted one, and then I'm gonna remove the sleeve. So as you can see, clearly this is an error. It should have a sleeve within it. But now let's take another example. I'm just gonna put the sleeve, but I'm gonna leave the cone behind. It still stays red. But if I put the cone inside, the light is gonna go away. So that means it's actually accepted. But what if the cone has some defects? Let's look at that scenario. So here you can see 
that there is a, a very tiny crack which is present on this and, and this is the reason why this is being rejected. Similarly, this has an even smaller crack which can be seen from the inside top camera. And, and as you can see, the LEDs are, are, are red. Now, if I mix these two, just to show you that, yeah, there is, this one goes red and this one is now accepted because I just switched the goods. Now, here you can see a close up of the user interface with all the different defect conditions. You can see that this particular one has the cone missing. The next one has the sleeve missing. This is an example with a big broken cone. That's a very obvious defect. Now, a less obvious defect with a small crack. And here is a very tiny crack, which shows uh, that our software and system is capable of inspecting even that. You have a setting screens for advanced settings and this will be hidden for the operators. The nice thing about the reporting feature is you can go back and actually select a history of the various uh, inspections that are happening. So if I look between a specific start date and end date, select a variant and then also select the shifts. I can also export that to um, an Excel file and, and to be able to uh, take this data, maybe even import it into an SAP or an MES system. So there you have it. Thank you for joining me on this culinary journey into ice cream inspection. What you've seen here is an AI-based technology that's made its way into the food industry. If you have any questions or any interest in machine vision inspection for your operation, feel free to reach out to us here at Qualitas Technology. We'd love to have a chat. Hope this video was educational and information for you. Thank you.